Welcome back everybody. Got another experiment we're going to try here. Went to a yard sale this past summer. Been dreading trying to clean these, but as you can see, I got a box full of rusted sockets. Guy left them outside. I don't know how long they'd gotten rained on or how long they sat in the water. But as you can see, some of these are pretty, pretty nasty. Inside and out, I mean just about every size imaginable. Got some of them stuck, even stuck together. So, we're going to try to clean these. What we're going to use, Evapo Rust. Super safe rust remover for tools, antiques, cookware, auto and hardware it's non-toxic biodegradable safe on skin and eyes and it's also reusable safe on skin and eyes skin's not bad but don't try to put this in your eyes or splash it in your eyes make sure you're wearing some glasses or something well, let me go through here and pick out a, some of these and see what we can come up with take some big ones out bunch of different sizes just see what we can get we're gonna go with the small ones the big ones and I guess that's you can see from the rust that's why I put this paper towels down I'm gonna go for some more of these that are pretty in bad shape See if this stuff will work. Get these cleaned up. And hey, I might have a. I mean, this thing looks like it's. I don't know how many's in here, but this is what we'll start with for our first test. So, what I'm gonna do? I got a little plastic Tupperware container. I'm just gonna start setting these in here best I can. Looks like we got metric and standards. Every size possible. Large, small, even look how small that one is. So. Get these filled up. Let's get this Evapo Rust tested out. You know, I think I can fit a few more in there. Might as well. By the way, the Evapo Rust bought it on uh, Amazon. Just a little over eight dollars per bottle. Um, actually, a lot less than nine. So I'll have an Amazon link down in the description, uh, being an associate link. So if you want to click on it and buy it, hey, buy it from them. It gives me a couple pennies. So. But the directions, I kind of read it, it said to let them sit for approximately 12 hours. With as bad as these are, I'm probably going to go for about 24 hours. So around this time tomorrow, right now it's 12.18. We'll check on them tomorrow morning. I'm going to check on them and probably stir them up some. But let's get these filled up. I should have enough. If I don't have enough in this one, I bought three bottles of it. I think I got enough. Looks like I got them all completely covered. Put a little bit more in there just to make sure. And hey, we're gonna let these go. Probably when I get up tomorrow morning, I'll come in and take a screwdriver and move them around a little bit. And then about this time tomorrow, about 12, 12 30, pull them out and see how it's done. See if they're looking good or not. Or if we got to put them back in some more because they're so bad. But we'll see you guys tomorrow. 
All right, everybody, we are now 20 hours in, 8.17 and a.m. in the morning. Yes, I am wearing a glove so the skin's safe, but don't want to get my fingers all dirty. Let's see how these things are kind of looking here compared to what they were. Oh, my goodness, look at that. Still got a lot of crud on the inside of them. I think a little more cleaning on these will work good. As you can see, they're pretty caked up with some stuff. Pretty bad. I think I'm going to take a screwdriver or something and punch through those. Man, that outside compared to what it looked like before. Looking good. I think we can buff these out some. And this one here, even eating the outside metal off of it, the coating. There's three sixteenth. As you can see, it's still got a lot of stuff on the inside. I'm going to have to go through these. See what some of these smaller ones look like. They're all about the same. Filled up with rust they sat out there so long. So. I'm going to stir these up a little bit here. See the water's gotten, not the water, but the vaporus has gotten pretty nasty looking there. But we're gonna leave these here for another four hours. We'll come back on and check out them. Check on them about 12, 15, 12, 20, 12, 30. Probably have to take a screwdriver or something. Get down in each one of them, clean them out some better, and then soak them some more. But. We'll see you at noon and see how it's doing. All right, guys, you can see it's 12:18 next day, so we've been on for a full 24 hours. Let's get all these out of here. It's done a great job on the outside of all these. Now it looks like it's starting to work some on the inside. As you can see, it cleaned the outside of them really good. But next thing we want to do, even though this is dirty, I'm going to go ahead and take this glove off. Since this is reusable, give me a funnel and some coffee filters. Warm coffee filters would be all we need. So we drain it back in and catch all the debris that's inside of it. Let's slowly do it. But I'm sure it's got a lot of material down in there rust particles all right let me get this drain we'll be right back okay the coffee filter worked great but you can see look how much stuff's down in the bottom of the corner of that so a lot of rust come off of it let me grab some tools screwdrivers See if we can get some of the worst of this out of the inside of them and put them back in probably for another 24 hours. All righty, we're back. Got a couple screwdrivers. Man, the insides of these are nasty. See 
it looked like it was starting to work on them. Go ahead and speed up through this while I clean these real quick. Nice dirty hands. Get my hands washed off real quick. Get ready to put these back in the evapor rust. Well, as you can see, got a lot of that nastiness off of the inside of them. Now I can actually see through them all. So hopefully that evapor rust get mixed up into it a lot better. Get these back in the container bad as these are uh, wife's probably gonna kill me I got this all her towel dirty I told her I wouldn't but well go ahead and get these covered completely back up again Tell you the truth, bad as these are, I'm gonna let them go for another at least another 24 hours. Probably more than that, because I gotta work tomorrow. Today's Sunday. So we'll see you here when we check on these and we'll give you a time frame. Much, much, much later. Alright, everybody, we are back. These things are so nasty, it's been a long time. Last time we were here was Sunday. Today's Friday. So these have been in about another six days now, close to it. They were so nasty on the inside. And I'm going to go ahead and pull them out. And I'm going to put them in some water and get them washed off a little bit. We washed them off a little bit more. Insides gotten a lot better. I think I'm gonna have to take a brush and get to the inside of them. See, it's coming off. It just doesn't want to. It's just so hard in there. So, but that should be it for cleaning the sockets. Huh. My nasty hands. You can see how. Nice and clean they are on the outside. Got all that rust off of them. I'm going to take some brushes, get the insides clean. We'll have a few pictures here at the end of what they look like before and after. Remember, click the subscribe button, and we'll see you guys next time.